Perfect. Okay, that's recording now. Hi, my name is Harriet um, Guy, Miss Guy, and I'm a year five teacher. And I'm just going to swivel this around. Hi, my name is Hannah, Hannah Hawkswell, um, and I am also a year five teacher. Elise? <laughs> Hello, I'm Elise Ryan. I'm uh, on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday in 5GR with Harriet. And we'll go back to Hannah. Um, so we're just now going to play the acknowledgement to country just to start. We at West End State School acknowledge the Yagara and Turrbal people's land and waterways where we meet, learn, play and celebrate together. We recognise and respect the First Nations Elders past, present and emerging for taking care of Mianjin and sharing their culture, efforts and contributions for thousands of years. Um, so just to begin with, um, as you can see on the slide, this is our whole Year 5 team. Um, so we've got eight classes all together, um, four iPad classes uh, within that. Um, and so this, the purpose of this meeting um, tonight is to, I guess, meet the teaching team, um, particularly um, the three teachers on this video. And um, we'll also be going through some of the communication processes. Um, we'll be sharing the WES 2022 priorities, and we'll also be clarifying a few of the expectations. Um, so firstly, we have a little video from our principal, Miss Kim McNamara. Hello everyone, I'm Kim McNamara, the very proud principal of West End State School. With over 1,340 students at West End, the most important thing to me is to build a sense of community. And to build that sense of community, when we all walk through those gates or those doors, we have to all be on the same page. So in that vein, a couple of years ago, the school council supported the leadership team to develop our school values. And those school values have become the number one way in which we all work together to make sure that West End State School is one, one big united community. The other way we unite is over our strategic plan. So our strategic plan has four very distinct areas with strategies to support them. It goes over four years and as we enter 2022, we are over halfway through our strategic plan. In the coming weeks, I will be putting an update on all four areas in our newsletter. So please make sure you look out for that. So the most important thing that I can ask for as the principal of West End is that we're all in this together. When we walk through the gate, when we enter our classrooms, no matter what our background, no matter what our experience, it's really important that we are all here for the one reason, which is our school vision, which is to empower our children to make sure that they can be the very best they can be. Have a wonderful 2022, and I look forward to seeing you throughout the year. Um, so just so you know, there will be question time at the end. As Harriet said, if you could just post those in the chat on the side, we will do our best to answer them throughout. Okay, so I'm going to just go through um, some of the communication that we have at school. We know that communication is our best uh, way to, to make sure that the home school connections and partnerships are really strong. Um, so listed on the slideshow are some of those key ones. So we've obviously got the office available for you to probably best at the moment in these current times, make that phone call rather than pop on in. But of course, you're always welcome to pop in if it's necessary. We have the newsletters, uh, school website, definitely email, emailing through to um, both the class teachers and to the admin, depending on the need. We've got um, school assemblies at the moment, which are not running as yet, but will be shortly. 
Uh, if you haven't liked the school Facebook page, it is a wealth of knowledge, especially if you're new to the area. Um, we give a lot of updates about what's happening around the school and we share a lot of photos as well. Um, if you're interested to see what might be happening on certain year levels. Uh, we have parent teacher interviews twice throughout the year, one well, end of term one and term three as well, which will also be um, helping to form some knowledge around reporting, which also occurs twice a year, term two and term four. Um, if you haven't yet got the Q Parents app, we strongly recommend you do that. It um, has is a really good central place. You can receive report cards through the Q Parents app. You can also um, get your invoices and pay your invoices through the app, so you're not missing out on any of those excursions or incursions or anything like that. Uh, and we've got the electronic sign. So a little bit more detail about the school newsletter. You can see here that it just tells you um, we have a year level newsletter alternating with our school newsletter. So our year five team will be um, organising and sending out a fortnightly newsletter, which gives you a little bit more in-depth in, in depth information about what we are doing in year five. We are in, in our regular times when we don't have what's going on in the world currently, we would always uh, welcome an open door policy into our classrooms. It is tricky at the moment to have parents on the grounds. However, um, please email us. We, we really, really do welcome your communication when you need to. Um, if you don't hear back from us, you know, within 24 to 48 hours, please send another email if, it's, if, if you really need to, because sometimes we do get lots of things that come through. Um, we certainly don't guarantee that we can check our emails through the school day, as I'm sure you understand. If it's really, really urgent, of course, please call the office straight away. Um, but if it's something that you would, you know, it, it's not overly urgent, please just send us an email and we endeavour to get back to you as soon as possible. This is just a little bit about the Cute Parents app. If you are uh, new to the school or new to uh, Education Queensland School, this is probably new information for you. But if you have been here for a while, you've probably heard about it already and you may already have it. Um, it's just a really good way also moving forward in technology to limit the amount of paper and paperwork that we have. We had a, uh, a really small Year 5 assembly the other day uh, with our cohort around uniform expectations. So the students already know what we expect and they'll be able to explain to you what we expect as well. But our policy, particularly at the moment with summer, um, the, the unisex skorts and shorts and the shirts, the polo, socks, white socks or navy socks. Um, we don't have a policy around shoes, but Obviously, that would be something that you would consider around what would go best with the uniform. When it does come into winter, uh, we definitely encourage, um, we've got some track pants that you can wear, you can send the students in. We also have um, navy tights or you, the students can wear navy tights underneath their um, school uniform as well. This is a really, really interesting infographic just around how much time can be missed out of a school year or even along the whole 13 years of schooling if there is continual lateness starting at school. So just that first five, 10 minutes late in the morning may not seem like a big deal. When it is continuous over and over and over again, you can see how much time that the students miss out. Um, you know, we understand things happen. We we know that there's traffic, we know that there's things that happen in the family home beforehand that, that stop coming to school on time. But it is something that's really, really important over that long spread of time. Um, and just taking a look at how much time that a student can miss over a 13 year period if they are always 10 minutes late or even 30 minutes late a day. Okay. Our PNC. So we have our PNC at our school. It's the primary pur purpose of the school is to support the community. Um, this school in particular has an absolutely amazing PNC. Uh, you know, schools around Queensland, we do have PNCs, but this PNC, um, as a new person to the school environment, I am just amazed at what they can do and what they have been doing. So, um, that the around this infographic you can see the ways that the, the PNC really really support our school 
Um, if you are a working member, of course, you would under, you would know how much work behind the scenes goes into it. But again, we would just like to, you know, always ask and suggest that when there's opportunities to support the PNC in whatever uh, frame it is at that time, please really consider it because what they have been able to do for our school is incredible. Um, in the next slide, I'll, I'll be able to show you um, that the um, what they donated in 2021 last year uh, to look at all those things that they've that spent that money on. So the reading resources, um, PE, PE teaching, school events. They have big plans for this year as well around growing our OSH services, uh, the un the uniform shop. And what we've already invested in in 2022, or what the PNC has invested in, uh, $60,000 on the filters that we've already been uh, delivered in each classroom. So we all know that they're super duper vital. I am now going to pass you on to Harriet. To talk about my favorite thing, the WES signature practices. Um, so these are something WES is really, really proud of. These. This is um, the pedagogy, the way we teach. Um, these are research-based. They've come out of our um, professional <coughs> professional learning communities as well, so they're WES owned. Um, and your kids will be doing them just as they did last year um, with us every week. So Quick Writes is a way for our students to consolidate what they've learnt. So if we were doing noun groups one week or compound sentences one week, then we'll um, allow them to retrieve that learning and and consolidate it in in a quick write. So it's kind of like a ready, set, go, write straight away. Um, across our two classes, we get to to use our iPads for that. So we'll be working on our typing skills um, and taking away the cognitive load of um, forming forming those sentences um, by hand, and they can just type they can just go for it which is really exciting taking away the cognitive load of spelling as well so it really is just to to get it down and then we we do spelling in other in other ways where it's more important the guided reading that happens two hours a week um and each each child is put in a group that is flexible it might be a group for two weeks it might be a, a group for it's needs based um and they work on strategies that they need to work on um, for them to to grow. Bump It Up is a visible learning wall. Um, we've already started ours where our learning intention is to write, um, was it unputdownable? What did the kids say? Unputdownable story? Edge of your seat. Yeah. Edge of your seat story. Um, and they did a wonderful job. So the year fours last year have just set them up for success because they were pulling out prepositions, imagery, um, they were just finding all this evidence in a work sample that goes up onto our Bump It Up wall. And we've we've started writing and writing groups and their work is already pretty well above standard. It's yeah, we're, we've started started the year really well. Um, complex instruction, that's difficult maths done in groups. So um, for for students working together, they each have a role. It encourages responsibility for each other's learning and it's an open problem. So that's high, high ceiling, low floor. There's um, many entry points for beginning the task. So they can, it's creative, um, creative thinking to solve a problem. Um, it really has a really high effect size. It's really, really good for them. For um, professional, so PDMs we call them, differentiation meeting, this is needs-based. So some students need a bit more support, maybe engagement. It's not always academic. Um, maybe they're feeling they're reluctant writers or they just there's something that is not quite right in the way that they're accessing the curriculum or maybe it's an extension. So if we see something that just needs to change, it's not quite working for them, we um, have a meeting with our support um, learning enrichment team and we trial strategies. Um, so this is this is where they're at. This is their mindset, their readiness to learn. Um, what are some strategies to help support them in the classroom? Um, and they're strategies that we we trial. They're not set in stone forever, and they get reviewed. Um, age appropriate pedagogies. Um, basically, it's about making making the curriculum fun. So it's not just sit down, copy from the board, sit in your rows. It's 
there's a variety of ways that we can engage our learners um, creatively, narrative based, project based. There's a whole list um, of ways to make our, our learning fun and engaging. Camp. Did the year fours go on camp last year? They did. Hooray. So the year, our year fives last year didn't get to go on camp, so it was a real shock for them. It's three nights away from home. So if they're not used to being away from home, send them on some sleepovers, get them used to it. Um, and we do call it a leadership camp. So it's not like with your besties. Um, they do have definitely one support person, you know, one friend with them, um, but we mix them up um, and they are in groups of about 16. And the goal is to to learn how to be a leader, um, develop those skills, and they are seen by their peers as being leaders. Um, and then that leads into um, nominations and speeches and them selecting their leaders for um, year six. So it's a really important, really well-run camp, and it's a lot of fun. It's at Mount Coulomb. It's great. The It's fantastic. They love it. There's a beautiful view. Um, it's like on a hill, incredible views. You guys are going to love it. Um, yeah, you can see all the activities there, um, but that's later in the year, something to definitely look forward to. Excursions this term, World Science Fair, we just walk, walk to South Bank basically. Um, and the incursion we have, um, because they're doing adaptations in science, someone comes and brings them um, information and samples of um, different animals. Um, term two is my favourite one. It's the Gold Rush expedition and they go, it's very um, play based. So someone comes riding in on a horse and there's some cat guns and um, like, come on kids and we have to um, walk to the camp, the, the gold rush or to the gold fields and they dig for gold and it's a really great one. And there's damper um planetarium fantastic um and possible qpac visit it didn't happen last year but we'll we'll try this year and then term four camp so lots of out out of school excursions which is good our goal for our learners is for them to become well it ties in with all our values um we want some self-regulated learners so we're in the iPad program, we're developing responsible users of technology, but in the classroom, we're also we're developing responsible learners. They learn how they learn best, where they learn best, who they learn best with, um, so that they become um, independent, um, autonomous learners. Um, they know what they need to do and how they how they get it. So that's our goal. Um, for year fives, and we see them really grow this year. So developing good work ethic, um, confidence. So there'll be lots of opportunities to to speak with groups in front of in front of the class. Um, participating in school life that um, really ramps up this year because they can take on responsibility outside of the classroom. Um, in the library, library monitors, buddy helpers. There's um, set up maths games. It's a way for them to um, commit to a responsibility and stay accountable and those um, extra extracurricular outside the classroom things get um, marked off in their leadership passport book so it's good evidence to show you know the rest the eight other classes um, that they are um, seen as a leader above above uh, above others and use of the st student diary we use it in class so therefore for things that are coming up during the week um that it doesn't really go home does yours go home yeah yeah okay we use ours for like library remember your library books um music this day bring this note um so it, it ours stays in the classroom but that's the way we use it Homework. Um, this homework grid reflects um, a lot of work that the PNC have done with um, in consultation with um, one of our deputies. And what has come out of it is they um, everyone wants, can do, 
and must do. So that's why there are those can do activities. Um, it reflects the the need of the community. It's what the majority of people want. So they can't they can't change. Um, we also have got maths and spelling and English work. Um, it didn't used to have English work in it, but we listened to feedback and um, the majority said that they wanted some consolidation of English activities in year five. So we've added that in. Those can do activities um, reflect our values, which at WES we um, really like to push and we don't, um, you know, get up anyone who doesn't do them, but we certainly do um, praise um, and commend those students who do choose to do them. Which is the must do's and can do's. Um, the first week, so their homework will be due on Wednesday and we gave them a paper copy with the expectations and we had a sign off sheet as well. So if they've done their reading, you'll um, sign that they've done their reading and if they've done some of their um, can do activities, you can tick them off as well. So we'll check that and we'll see that you have witnessed them do their homework at home and we'll sign that off. So that's a way that all three of us, parents, teachers and students are um, accountable and checking in. Um, from now, from Wednesday, all those homework sheets will be digitally available on class teams. So in a folder, all of the homework sheets will sit there. Um, and some copies of the black belt karate. So if you're, every child will have a belt in the karate facts, um, it gives them just sort of an area to focus on for their homework. Um, and there'll be some black belt um, fact sitting in there as well. Um, of course, we encourage you guys to be um, part of your education, a part of your child's education at home. Um, when we can, um, we love having vo volunteers. Um, it's just tricky at the moment um, because we are limiting visitors on site. Um, we certainly do um, need experts um, for HASS or science or anything. I think we've we've hoping that an expert in um, digital technologies and internet safety will teams in for the kids next week um, because sometimes um, you know our voices carry, but sometimes an expert who works in that field um, makes a a better impression on our students. So if you have got any um, special areas of expertise, um, that would be really useful if you could let us know and we could find somewhere to connect that to our learning. Um, the students always love hearing from you guys as well. So the leadership program I um, referred to um, when we're talking about students developing, um, you know, leadership goals, responsibility goals. So they'll have roles, responsibilities, and there's the, the camp as well. Um, their leadership passport is something that they need to look after for the whole year. Um, it is, it's a paper copy, it's a hard copy. They, they do a good job, they realise how important it is and they do hang on to that for the year. Um, it's a way to learn responsibility every term that gets signed off by um, teachers, their specialist teachers, the PE teachers, music teachers, their religion teacher, their languages and their languages teacher. And they give them a green if excellent, um, they've been participating well, super responsible, displaying the WES way in learning, um, yellow if they needed some real reminders um, throughout the learning and red or orange, a bad colour. If um, red, red, if it's, um, you know, a referral or just continuously interrupting the learning. We don't see a lot of reds because they're all lovely. Um, on So it becomes a grid um, of sort of term one, term two, term three, term four, teacher, um, teachers for those subjects 
And so you can sort of see data on the page about how responsible students are. Often the nominees are all green. They can have two yellow. So if they do get a yellow, it's not the end of the world. Sometimes there are some yellows in term one, term two, and then they sort of shape up towards term three and four. Um, it gets signed off for sport, inter-school sport, um, and intra-school sport, and it gets signed off for camp as well. Um, and it's a really good way for uh, all eight teachers to sit down with um, their stack. Sometimes we, we get about 13 leadership passports from each class towards the end of the year, and we go through and we check their contribution to um, the community. And that's not choir, that's not band. They are things that we see students doing for themselves, for their own enjoyment, but it is volunteering their time. So it might be volunteering before school or playtime. So that's the library monitor is a big one. And students really enjoy doing that. There's a party at the end of every term. Um, so it's something not for them. It's some, it, they have to be seen to be giving up time. So that's also how we can streamline this process because there are 200 of us, there's so many kids, and how do we make it the most fair way? Um, this program has gone through PNC, it's all been marked off, it's um, the best it can be for um, how big we are. Um, so from those leadership passports we shortlist and then those students get to make a speech, but ultimately students vote, they get to choose. And then we count them, we do preferential voting. So it's a whole afternoon of uh, piling up all these paper um, paper votes to find out who who gets captain. Um, yes. Oh, there's the green and the yellow and the red. Yes. Other points. Um, so we, we do have headphones for our class. Um, and thank you, I think everyone does have headphones and, and keyboards. Um, some people are using um, the, the touch screen on their keyboard to, as a mouse. Some kids are using um, a, a, known, a mouse from home, which is working as well. Um, USB is no longer on the list. And um, swimming, if, if students miss out on three swimming lessons, then they don't get to participate. Um, I mean, it's up to Kim and Kayla, our PE teachers, but um, they don't get to participate in the swimming activities at camp, which is raft building and um, boogie boarding. So um, unless a note has, has come from home. So that's why that point is there. Um, NAPLAN online, not till May. And we'll get to probably talk to you on the phone for parent-teacher interviews um, in weeks eight and 10, the end of this term. And sport will be starting. I've seen an email about that. So I think it just in a few weeks, so not on schedule, just a couple of weeks. So it'll be a shorter, shorter term. Um, students will have a note. Um, they'll take it home that day, put in preference what sports they want to do. Sometimes they run it back straight away, but it is um, or the next morning. And then as soon as we get that, we mark the date of when we receive that note because it's um, first in best dress. There's only so many spots. So Normally they all bring it in, but if, if a child doesn't bring it in the next day and they bring it in the day after, they probably won't get their first um, preference. Thank you. Um, that was a lot of information all very quickly, um, but if you have any questions, you can pop them in the chat or send us an email um, if you'd like to. Student, school Council, not PNC. Shout out to School Council. They did the homework review. Thank you. Awesome. Anything else to add, girls? No. I'll say goodbye. Thank you for, for logging in. I'll say goodbye.
<laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> cool. All right. See you later. Have a good evening. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay. Hit stop record.